Hi, I'm Gary Boitler for the Water Stores Group, and I own the water store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to submit a water sample to the ministry to have your water tested for bacteria. So the first thing you need to do is get the right bottle. So if you go to your local health unit, they'll have a kit like this available that you can pick up. Inside that kit, there's the bottle and there's the paperwork. So if you check over the paperwork, what you need to do is fill in the person's name, their address, all their contact information, and uh, also mark on here how you want to get the report. Do you want to pick it up at the lab or do you want to have it mailed to you? So you need to complete all that. The next step is to, to consider your water source. Now, if you're drawing water from uh, a lake or a river, then uh, the water has to be treated first before you can submit a sample. So if you don't have any water treatment at all, then in that situation, you need to contact uh, your nearest water stores group store and talk to them about water treatment uh, for that. Now, if you're drawing water from a well, whether you have water treatment or not, you can uh, submit a sample, no problem that way. The best place to take a water sample to test for bacteria is a bathroom faucet like this one here. You've got great flow of water and there's no screen in there to taint the water sample. So uh, what we need to do first is disinfect uh, this faucet here. So to do that, we use a 1 to 10 ratio of bleach to water. So one tablespoon of bleach to a half a cup of water gives us the right ratio. Give that a little stir. And then submerge the faucet in this disinfecting solution. And that'll kill any bacteria that might be in the faucet. So once we've done that, then we let the water run, cold water. And while the water is running, we can wash our hands to make sure that we remove any bacteria that might be on our hands. Now we need to let the water run three to four minutes before we actually take the, the sample. So for the purposes of this video, I won't let it run uh, that long, but we unscrew the cap from the bottle. Make sure you don't set down the cap. Make sure you don't touch inside the cap and make sure you don't rinse out the bottle. The bottle has a preservative in it. So then put the bottle underneath and you need to fill it up to this line here. Right there, we're still holding onto the cap. Screw the cap back onto the top of the bottle, set it aside, shut off the water, and we're done. All right, great. Now that we've got the water sample in the bottle, we need to pack all this up and get it submitted. So the next thing we have to do is um, the name that you submitted on this form is the same name you have to write on this little sticker here. You write it on there and you peel the sticker off and you apply it to the outside of the bottle, making sure you don't cover up these barcodes. Then one of the barcodes you peel off and you stick on this blue um, piece of paper here. This you're going to keep and uh, because you're going to use this to call in in two or three days time to check your water test results. Then once you finish that, then we take the paper and we put it around the bottle, put it back in the plastic bag, wrap it all up with the elastic band and we submit it to our health unit within 24 hours of taking the water sample. Also, you have to make sure that you submit it before noon on Thursday because that's their cutoff time. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please check out our website at www.waterstoresgroup.com. And again, I'm Gary Boitler from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.